Typically when building an app in Power Apps, if you want to access your existing data sources, you have an option on the left hand ribbon here for data. Just the nine dot grid there. So you'd select that, you'd see everything you've connected to, and this allows you to uh, add additional data, but you can also refresh data in case there have been changes or additions to that data set. You can remove data or even edit the connection to it. Um, however, I've noticed when you use a template to begin an app such as this one, that data tab does not appear. And I've played around with settings and there's different suggestions out there such as uh, exporting and importing the app, but these don't always work. So if you find yourself in a situation like this where you don't have that data option here, I want to show you a couple other options to get to your data within the app. The first is when you hover over a screen, you'll notice that this data and copilot option pops up here. You can pin this so it doesn't uh, depend on you hovering. But if you click on the data option here, you can see what's in your app. So we can see, for example, I connected to Office 365 users, um, but I still can't refresh or anything here. So let's continue to troubleshoot and find a workaround here. So the next thing I would suggest is going up to add data at the top, and here we can add a new connection, uh, but we still can't refresh or remove any existing connections. So this is just a workaround. We're gonna add a temporary connection. Let's go with something from SharePoint. Okay, we'll connect through cloud services. We'll just choose something random for now. All right, so we've added a new connection. Now from here, you'll notice we have those classic options where we can now refresh data sources, remove data sources, um, so on and so forth. So I'm going to remove this temporary one since I don't really need it. And anything else that might be duplicated that I've added before, I can also remove that. Um, and now I can see everything in my, my app and refresh them as I need to. So it's not ideal, but if you do find yourself in that position, I hope that helps you get to a place where you can refresh those data sources and work with them as you need. Good luck.